The government of Ghana is making significant strides in its quest to improve healthcare infrastructure across the nation with particular emphasis on pediatric care. A recent press briefing at the Ministry of Information held by the Minister for Health, Dr. Bernard Okoiboy, has revealed that the government has completed 60% of the Weja Children's Hospital and 19% of the Le General Hospital, both of which represent major milestones in the country's ongoing development of healthcare facilities. The information comes as a source of hope and anticipation for many Ghanaians who recognize the pressing need for enhanced access to quality health care, especially in the nation's capital. As Dr. Okoiboy addressed the media, there was an undeniable sense of urgency in his voice. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. The projects, particularly at Weja, are progressing swiftly, and this progress is a testament to the government's commitment to resolving the critical health challenges that the nation has faced for many years. Accra, the capital of Ghana, has long relied on the, the Princess Marie Louise Hospital as the only operational children's hospital. This has placed immense pressure on the facility, often leading to overcrowding and overworked healthcare staff. The construction of the Weja Children's Hospital is therefore a much needed relief for the healthcare system in Accra, and the goal is to relocate the services of the Princess Marie Louise Hospital to this, to this new facility before the year ends. We are working with speed to make sure that before the end of this year, Princess Marie Louise relocates to the new Weja Municipal Children's Hospital, Dr. Okoe Boye said with confidence, his tone conveying not just hope, but the assurance of a solution in sight. The new 120-bed facility is poised to be a game changer, modernizing pediatric care within the greater Accra region. Once completed, the hospital will offer a variety of essential services for children, ensuring that they receive the specialized attention they need without the current strain on resources. This comes at a critical time when the healthcare needs of the country are growing, and an advanced, child-focused medical facility is no longer just a want, but a necessity. Dr. Okoe Boye made it clear that the Weja Children's Hospital, while offering state-of-the-art health care, will remain true to its original purpose, providing care specifically for children. During his address, he shared insights into how some health workers in Greater Accra expressed the desire for the new facility to be a hospital that serves all demographics. However, he was adamant that the focus will remain firmly on pediatric care, stating some of the health workers in Greater Accra wanted it to be a hospital for everybody. We are not going to agree. It's for children, and it will remain for children. These words were met with understanding and a sense of clarity about the vision behind the project. The minister's determination to preserve the hospital's primary mission echoes a broader commitment to ensuring that the specific healthcare needs of children are prioritized. As with many large-scale infrastructural projects in Ghana, the construction of these hospitals has not been without its challenges. Global financial instability, coupled with Ghana's own economic difficulties and its debt exchange program, has created significant hurdles along the way. Yet Dr. Okoe Boy remained optimistic. Despite the challenges presented by the global financial crisis and Ghana's debt exchange program, we are confident in the government's capacity to complete these, project, these projects, he assured. The strength of his conviction was palpable as he acknowledged the financial strains and logistical setbacks that could have derailed progress, but emphasized that resilience and commitment have kept these critical projects alive. There is a story beneath the steel and concrete of these hospitals, one that speaks to the resilience of the Ghanaian government in the face of adversity. Dr. Okoi Boye painted a vivid picture of a government determined to press forward, despite the odds. He recognized that while financial hardships have slowed the pace of progress in some sectors, healthcare infrastructure has been prioritized because of the urgent and fundamental role it plays in the lives of Ghanaians. For those who have passed, we can't bring them back. But for projects that have stalled, we can reactivate them, he stated, uh, his words hinting at the sobering reality that many lives have been lost due to inadequate healthcare facilities, 
but also expressing the hope that comes with building a better future. The government's commitment to completing these healthcare projects is not just about structures. It's about the lives that will be saved once these hospitals are fully operational. The Waya Children's Hospital, with its 120-bed capacity, is only one piece of the broader puzzle. The Law General Hospital, which is currently 19% completed, is another project that reflects the government's vision of creating a resilient health system capable of addressing the needs of all Ghanaians. Once completed, the Law General Hospital will significantly bolster healthcare access, providing another critical node in the country's healthcare infrastructure. Dr. Okoyboy's remarks also provided a glimpse into the future of healthcare in Ghana. He spoke of the government's broader vision for healthcare infrastructure, uh, one that is robust enough to meet the needs of the present and future generations. By focusing on pediatric care through the Weja Children's Hospital, the government is laying the foundation for a healthier and more resilient population. After all, children represent the future and ensuring their health is tantamount to securing the country's long-term prosperity. The government's actions, as outlined by Dr. Okoye Boye, signal a transformative moment in Ghana's healthcare journey. These projects are not mere statistics or percentages of completion, but a manifestation of hope, resilience, and progress. The ongoing efforts at both the Weja Children's Hospital and La General Hospital are part of a larger narrative about improving healthcare access and building a health system that can withstand future challenges, whether financial, logistical, or health-related. As Dr. Okoboy concluded his address, the significance of the moment was clear. Ghana is at a turning point. The government's efforts to build new hospitals and enhance healthcare infrastructure are more than just construction projects. They represent a commitment to the well-being of its citizens. These hospitals will save lives ease suffering, and offer hope to families who have struggled with limited access to health care. It is a promise that the government is determined to keep, and despite the challenges, progress is being made, brick by brick, towards a healthier, stronger Ghana. The press briefing ended with a renewed sense of optimism, as the health minister's words echoed in the room and beyond. The future of health care in Ghana is being built, and it is being built to last. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.